Hello YouTubers, uh, welcome to my video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, tips on buying a guitar and uh, uh, two of these uh, tips is actually important when one buying guitar. We as human uh, would normally be uh, mesmerized or amazed by a guitar design that we tend to overlook the important point of uh, what makes a guitar workable and functional uh, later on after we make the purchase so uh <coughs> me so i have here a guitar that uh, was sent in by my client it's a very special guitar very nice is the uh, pv uh, werewolf model although uh, it looks like the uh, wolfgang but it's not it's the werewolf model it's the only one built in the world so uh uh, back to the uh, important point and tips on buying your guitar what what is it so uh, one of it is the uh, neck so that's where we play we noodle we practice we play chords we uh, entertain our friend girlfriend wife or whatever crowd so uh, in order to have a good uh, playing uh, uh, playing uh, surface the uh, neck itself uh, has to have a level frets Although that's a minor problem and can be solved, uh, but it's uh, never it's a never a bad thing to to check thoroughly when buying a guitar. And then uh, next comes the uh, important thing of uh, of the neck itself, which is the adjustability. Now uh, a guitar a guitar neck should have uh, a truss rod adjustment somewhere over here, and some of it are in front. Now, uh, it should be workable and not just there for decoration. So, uh, this guitar, the uh, truss rod adjuster on this guitar does work, and um, I'm impressed. The neck is uh, is uh, set up straight as an arrow. Uh, yeah. Next point is the scale length. Now, I, I can understand we guitarists we hate to learn scale. There's a lot of there's a lot of scale uh, to to remember. There's pentatonic and there's there's five position of the pentatonic there's the major scale there's modes and there's seven modes and then there's the jazz scale altered scale major minor and whatever that sort of thing so uh, but this particular scale which is the scale length is uh, by the way it's not found in theory in theory books only uh, guitar tech and luthier builder knows about it about this so they should uh, they should uh, uh, understand uh, what it is but we guitar players most of us uh, we don't understand what uh, what that is so uh, scale length is actually uh, the measurement chosen or used for a guitar uh, before the guitar has been built so uh, this guitar is supposed to have a scale length of 25.5 5 or 25 and a half inches so uh, it's uh, measured from the nut, the edge of the nut to the uh, 12 fret, it should get half of uh, 25 and a half, and then the other half of that should be on the first string. Now the first string, now the scale length as is uh, is a guide for the first string only. So on this guitar, I managed to get the uh, first string uh, on the uh, ballpark, but look at the. Uh, the uh, saddle uh, lockdown uh, allen key is is pushed all the way back but for the rest of the string is now uh, becomes the notes now become sharp so uh, um, so unfortunate lah. so your your skill length has uh, will make the wrong skill length will make your 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 skill that you learn uh, the skill that you learn uh, sounds wrong and then the other thing while I'm doing that, the uh, before, the uh, Allen key protrude out. So uh, this guitar cannot, you cannot do pull ups on this kind of uh, this guitar. Uh, and uh, this has become a dive bomber only. So from a multi purpose uh, guitar, it has become uh, like a World War II dive bomber purpose only. So so unfortunate. And uh, but despite that, the uh, there's uh, one interesting point about this guitar. 
if you look closely the Floyd Rose is uh, spelled R-O-S-D instead of uh, R-O-S-E so this is a uh, uh, I believe this is the only one in the world that has this spelling so this I, I believe this is a collector's item this could fetch a thousand and thousand of dollars in the future when put on eBay and uh, yeah so uh, what more can I talk about this guitar yeah is the, the electronic is a bit um, it's a bit average so but those uh, you, you don't you shouldn't worry about uh, electronics or for electric guitar because uh, those are replaceable and does not get in the way of the uh, the uh, construction of the guitar itself so uh, nothing to worry there let's look at the uh, behind of the guitar so as you can see it's a very nice uh, CNC here so filled with a uh, tone uh, tone uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure what what is that is it, maybe it's a tone salt and uh, if you eyeball the uh, the uh, spring to the block is uh, is slightly not slightly is offset by a lot so if your guitar spring to the block is straight so you won't get uh, any sound this is the secret of uh, brown the brown sound so make your tram like this uh, slightly uh, offset or sang it then you can get the brown the brown sound the legendary brown sound and then uh, the uh, yeah, the neck uh, joint is uh, the uh, all access uh, neck joint, which is uh, which is dis which was discovered by PV, but they didn't uh, put it on production because uh, they like to uh, pattern things and uh, keep them in case anyone uses them, they can bring it up and sue them. So uh, actually, uh, yeah, Ibanez has to had to pay uh, Ibanez uh, Ibanez had to pay PV. Uh, a lot of money for it the neck features uh, a not a roasted maple but a sun bathed maple it's been uh, bathed in the beach for I think for maybe uh, a day or two and then put uh, some suntan to make it uh, to protect the skin and then uh, yeah and then buff at the factory the extreme number is very unique it features a uh, uh, birthday of birth date of uh, Eddie that's 1951 25th of May and this guitar is uh, was made in 1978 so uh, yeah this is the uh, pattern number so uh, you cannot copy this guitar this is the only one in the world if you copy this guitar you're gonna be in trouble so the machine head is uh, actually Goto but uh, since uh, Goto don't want to pay Eddie uh, any money so Eddie had to ask uh, the builder to uh, scrape off the goto uh, uh, stamping so it's an anonymous goto but it's goto believe me so uh, that's about it about uh, guitar tips and the rest are extra stories that i just had to throw in for the video remember uh, the neck is important the frets is important scale length is very very important and uh, all the other thing can be soft but scale length have to be accurate when one builds a guitar so uh, yeah that's it for today thank you very much and happy buying or see buying enjoy practicing bye bye